So silent. So you know he won't be spoken to. <clears throat> That's it. Get out, all of you. Okay. This is us to start talking. What would it take you to talk? Do you want to be released? Do you want money? Or do you want a woman? Sorry, I forgot. You just killed your missus. You need time. No one mourns for a whore. Whore? Oh, she's unfaithful. Caused her death. So that's why you killed her. What did the other two do to you? No, some people abuse without a motive. Yet you seem like yours have been fulfilled. Not a second of regret was painted on your face after this boy killed himself. In fact, I see a sick happiness. What was your reason for this villainy? He was given a headstone without any inscription. Not even beloved father, or may the Lord rest his soul in peace, just a stone to mark a grave. All I could do was place a single flower whose petals would soon join the dead. I was 14. I watched the same man who held my hand through my first steps take his last breath. And everyone was more agonizing than the last. Yoga, we need to leave our house. I can't provide for us to stay there anymore. The father was keeping us there, but now... The grandfather sees it as a must that our family is complete again. There is a man who is willing to take our burdens on his shoulders. The grandfather says we're very lucky to have any man except for the We're very lucky. Very. I remember thinking, lucky? My father just died and I'm supposed to consider myself as Lady Luck's favourite child. But I listened, as the child should, and obeyed. The same night, I was sleeping in a house that was not my own, in a bed that was not mine. I longed to be in my home, but that would never happen. I'm out with your father. We'll be back in a couple of hours and all. A mother is a role that a woman plays for her whole life from the moment a child is conceived. But the lust of a newly wed woman overrules all. Ma, is there any dinner? Where are you going? Come here. Did you sorry. knock on the door? Did your father not teach you to interrupt that door? I'm oh. sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You think your mother's going to save you? Ah! Don't be afraid. <laughs> ah, you were so brave to come to the door, weren't you? My father died, and God sent me to hell. Now all I saw was Satan. Do I beg? Do I steal? No, if I get caught, I'll be killed.
please Lord, please Lord, make them go away Lord. I'll pray more if you make them go away Lord, please make them go away. <laughs> what are you doing? No one hears your prayers on the streets. Who are you anyways? I haven't seen you before. The name's Arya. <laughs> alright, alright. You can stop now. I'm pretty sure this boy is sick of your crap. Oh no, no, I don't mind really. I wasn't trying to cause any trouble. I just want some... I should be going. I... Talks more than I do. <laughs> What's your name, young man? Um, Yago. Yago? That's an interesting one. My name's Renzo. It's nice to meet you. Why are you such a young boy like you out here on the streets? Why don't your parents be worried? My father is dead. Sorry to hear. What about your mother? My mother doesn't care. Come on, no one cares more than a mother. Then my mother is absent. Who did you live with then? He definitely more than his wife. Sounds quite terrible, but you know. I once knew him more. We lived near each other. He told me some great things, things I'd be stupid to forget. One day I went home. My sister walked out of her room. He followed. They both jumped when they saw me, their faces lit with shame and guilt. The most important thing he taught me was that neither family nor friends should be loved. Because <laughs> what's love without trust? From then on, there was only one person I loved. Guess who? Oh, I know! Shut your mouth, I'm asking Yago. Um. I don't know, there's no one else left. See, that's the problem. People tend to forget the most important person in their lives. The only one that they can really trust. The only one that they can really love. You don't know who. Myself. <laughs> only myself. It's a lesson I'll never forget. You won't either, will you? No, I won't. Good. So what's for you here? I need to find some food. I'm so hungry. You're such a bright boy. You don't seem very smart, you know? <laughs> Look around, Yago. Every person you see here has a full wallet. They'll be able to provide you with a meal each. I don't want to steal, sir. My father said not to. <laughs> steal? No. These people will give you their money. I can promise you that much. You already doubt me so much as to call me a criminal. No, 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 sir. I, t I didn't mean it like that. But you did say not to trust no anyone. That's absolutely right. Fast learner, eh? Hey, Aria, how fast do you think you'll be able to learn one of our tricks? <laughs> Not fast enough to feed me. Why don't we show them one of our tricks? Yeah, good. Okay. So you can keep up. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Have you, have you lost his wallet? No, that's not mine. My wallet is in my pocket. Yeah, I've got my purse with me too. Sure. It's like 800 quid now. Are you sure it's none of yours? Mm, it's not mine. Mm. I got your ground. Yeah, yeah. Wait, before I go, I need something from each of you. Like a guarantee. What sort of guarantee? So, so that I know that you're not going to run away with the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, um, here's a hundred for me, so I ain't going anywhere. Here's a hundred for me, too. Cheers. Ah, uh, I really want to catch the next train. So, excuse me, we'll go uh, back to you. Leave the envelope with me in case the gentleman comes back, so that I'm still here and I can give him the envelope. I might need a guarantee in case you run off with me. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Lorenzo was the most amazing street musician I have ever seen. No one could compete. He was the king of his art. That night, he fed me more than my own house ever did. I felt like a prince, and that's what I became. Um, Ma, are you okay? 
Don't touch me. You did this to me. Get away from me. Go away. I stayed by the door all night, hearing her crying. Not just that night though. Every night after that was spent the same way. Juba would beat her worse than he would beat me. I'd run out in terror to Lorenzo, continuing to teach me until I soon became better than Aria. Our time together made my domestic life tolerable. We learned and taught, laughed and joked. I started to become the most convincing artist on the streets, even able to get Lorenzo a few times. My face was honest, he used to say. Ah, how this became my strongest sword. Dearest Gina, I can't stop thinking about you. The passion in my heart is burning for you. I had a dream, a dream that one day we'll be together. To my love, your love has left me in exile. The deed is done though, and now your husband is dead. Love, Jumba. The whore did this, and that bastard more. Pa, look at me, that savage beast has painted me purple and black all over. Pa, they've done this to me, and that to you. I swear by Satan they'll both scream and write from the poison that runs through their veins. Good Satan, wring their necks with the chains from hell, cause every woman who plays the deceitful masquerade of innocence, purity and love. They are all Satan's whores. They don't deserve the love of any man, not even a son's. I promise you, Pa, I won't shame you by being murdered by another. Satan has given me the power to live without a heart. I will join you, Pa, but only after I see the pain of betrayal on the faces of others. I must see Lorenzo. Is everything okay? Please shut up. Where's Lorenzo? I don't ask the question first. I don't have time for your stupidity. Just answer my question. Where is Lorenzo? He's gone. When's he coming back? He's gone. I heard that, you fool. When's he coming back? He's not coming back. He's gone. Are you a fool? What do you mean he's not coming back? Did he get taken by the police? No. He said he found a better place. More people, more money. He left early this morning. Didn't even get a chance to bid farewell. Did you leave any letters or anything? Like, I don't know, a message for me? No, nope, nothing. Same way I first saw you and nothing's changed. What do you mean? I'm the man of the streets. It seems like you've already forgotten the first lesson you learnt then. There's only one person you can truly love. Because no one else can be trusted. Only trust yourself. It's foolish to love anyone in an excessive way. You never profit from any emotions such like that. Son, could you pass me the oil, please? Son, the only relationship you have is between his penis and your legs. You whores are a joke. Iago, watch your tongue. Or what, you'll kill me too, and then mourn to the world about how you lost your beloved son. Huh, if only you had a son to lose. It pleases me greatly that you would die weak and alone, maybe even brutally killed by your own lover. <laughs> the irony. You used him to kill your husband, and now he's going to kill you. If I were you, I'd burn yourself with this oil before you get killed by that and more.
They say you only ever really become a man when you fight in a uniform. So I joined our Venetian army to serve in Venice to my fullest ability.